action. Rebecca Lopez joins us live. Rebecca, he's he's finally a free man. He is, and he walked out of these doors here at Lou Starrett Jail about an hour ago. And again, for the first time in 34 years, the judge did agree to set him free and let him go home. And the first person he hugged was his mother. He was greeted by supporters and his attorneys who have been fighting for his release. Spencer was convicted in 1988 in the robbery and death of Jeffrey Young. But the key witness in this case lied, and that began the long process of getting this case overturned. It was a long journey to get to this day. The district attorney filed a briefing weeks ago saying Spencer had been wrongfully convicted, and Judge Leela Mays agreed. Today, she held that bond hearing to finally release him. This good to be finally to this point put his stage. I, I appreciate everybody for their support, for the love, and for everything that's been done on my behalf. We agree to the bond under all the circumstances. We trust uh, that Mr. Spencer will do just fine. Again, there was a lot of support for him here today. Some men who were exonerated also showed up. Two of them had actually done time with him, and they say he cut their hair while in prison. The judge released Spencer with some conditions until the Court of Criminal Appeals reviews the findings and agrees he was wrongfully convicted. He could also be granted a new trial, but the district attorney says that won't happen because there is no forensic evidence and all the witness testimony has fallen apart. So think about this. Spencer went to prison when he was 22 years old. He is in his mid-50s. I asked him what he planned to do on his first evening out. He said he just wanted to get reacquainted with family. Back to you guys.